Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good. Happy Tuesday, honey. So I am back. You know what I'm saying? I've been kind of playing around with the animations, you know, just sprucing stuff up around here. I can't believe y'all was really like, I'm glad y'all are liking my reaction videos and y'all are happy I'm back on camera. I didn't realize it's been that many years since I've been on camera just for regular videos. People were like, this feels like it's 2019 again. I said, damn, 2019? It's 2024. I did not have been gone. <laughs> I figured, hey, y'all see me on live stream, that's more than enough, but thank y'all for the wonderful feedback, and I'm glad that y'all are happy to see, you know what I'm saying, my face again, and, you know, it feels different getting back on camera, you know, getting dressed and stuff just to do a quick, you know, video, but anyways, I hope y'all are doing good, so a lot of people have been asking me to talk about this whole Stanley Cup situation, I'm not gonna lie, y'all know I am big and grown, I'm like, what the hell is a Stanley Cup, because y'all know what the hell TT drink out of, okay? This is my trusty purple Contigo. It's spill proof. I've had it for years. You guys have seen her during my live stream. I'm always sipping out this bitch. Damn, that's some good water, okay? Love me some water. So that's what I drink out of. So I didn't know about all this Stanley stuff. And then I started hearing about it on the news and, you know, um, Around Christmas, kids were really happy to get a Stanley Cup for Christmas. People was going crazy. Target had some type of Valentine's Day Stanley Cup. And there was a bunch of kids out here running to go get them. So I started hearing about it more and more and seeing it on TikTok. So we're going to go ahead and watch some of these videos. Just to get you guys introduced for y'all who don't know about the whole Stanley Cup situation. So we're going to go ahead and watch some of these videos here on TikTok. Okay? Wow. These folks are literally waiting outside at 2, 3 in the morning in folding chairs for a cup. Not a new game system. Not some Jordans, even though that's bad too, but a cup, okay? So keep that in mind. I'm going to watch the next video. Look how they're running. They are coming in droves, honey. They said so they want their Stanley Cup, bitch. POV work at Target during the Stanley release and they sell out in 15 seconds. All I see is Uggs and Cops. These people are running full force for some cups. What the hell? Oh, hell no. Did she just fall? Hold up. We're winding that shit back. Oh, not her falling in the middle of Target. That bitch about to sue. She about to be like, my neck, my back, my neck and my back. And Target gonna be like, bitch, you weren't even wet over there. Get your ass up. You doing all this slipping and falling for a Stanley Cup? Girl, bye. Y'all are doing the most. This is insane. And the late oh god, she had a whole she had a whole limp. She trying to limp her way to a cup, bitch. Where the hell have I been? Folks are going crazy over these cups, okay? So now another reason why this is being talked about. Because again, with this craze, you got a lot of kids who got this Stanley Cup for the holidays. And the news was also covering this. So let's go ahead and watch that real quick. It's the hot gift drawing screams and sobs of joy. Uh, she wanted a Stanley Cup. And all this hysteria over a cup. I got a Stanley! The Stanley Quencher Cup, that is. Sold in over a hundred different colors, the $45 reusable bottles are flying off shelves. The Stanley brand has been around for more than a century. 
These cups used to be favored among construction workers, but in 2017, after a popular mommy blog posted about them, the company introduced new pastel colors and sales skyrocketed from 73 million in 2019 to 750 million last year. Adding to the hype, viral videos of the cup's apparent indestructibility, like this one that survived a car fire. Stanley even buying the owner a new car. Experts say it's all part of the reusable bottle craze, where functional designs and chic shades have made them fashion accessories for moms on the go. The online fervor leading to a whole new kind of lightning in a bottle. So that is the hype behind the Stanley Cup. Now, what's very interesting, because as we know, with hype and, you know, people getting boosted and, you know, social status, the world that we live in, there's a mother going viral. She says that her nine-year-old child was bullied because she did not have a Stanley Cup. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and watch this mother's viral video. A lot of news outlets have been covering it. Um, they're even calling it the Stanley Cup. 40 ounce of bullying. So um, it's a lot of conversations going on now about this cup and how it's causing a lot of chaos in the classroom and everything else. So we're gonna go ahead and watch this video of this mother. I post a lot of controversial content on my page. I usually like to keep things pretty fun, pretty lighthearted. I do a lot of voiceover content. With that being said, I'm gonna keep this pretty short and sweet. This is the cup that we got our daughter for Christmas. This is not a Stanley. This is a 9.98 Walmart cup that she said she thought was cute. He is nine years old. On the second day back to school after Christmas break, she comes home. She's not crying, she's just upset. The girls, all the other girls in her grade, I'm not saying all, maybe she said nine, 10 of them, all got Stanleys for Christmas. And they okay. made sure to let her know that this is not a real Stanley, that this is fake and it's not as cool. So she comes home, she's upset. She asks if she can have a real Stanley. Do I think that a nine-year-old needs a Stanley? No. Do I have one? Yes, I have one. I don't have 50 Stanleys in all different colors. I'm not going to Target and fighting other women or moms to try and get the new Valentine's Day Stanley. I have one. So that being said, before you come at me, um, if you're a mom, if you're a parent, and you can do something to keep your child from getting made fun of, to help fit in, you're gonna do it. So we went and bought her a 30 ounce Stanley. In our area, at our local Ace Hardware, these are $35. Okay, let me let me say this first and foremost, okay? As a mom myself and as somebody who dealt with bullying, I don't agree. Now she's saying, you know, as a parent, if you can help your child fit in, that's what you gonna do. What I don't like about this, I don't know what you wanna call it, this social media generation, um, some of these millennial parents, um, we, bullying is not new. I hate how when something happens to, you know, a little, you know, a white girl in the suburbs, oh my God, now there's news articles being printed. It's on Fox News and everything else. Bullying is not new, okay? When I was in high school, I used to get bullied all the time because, you know, there was four of us. Our parents didn't have a whole lot of money. So, you know, people thought it was okay to make fun of my clothes. I never had the latest shoes. You know, we couldn't afford Jordans and all that stuff. And I remember um, a lot of our shoes came from Payless. You know, y'all remember some of y'all used to wear Pro Kids and, you know, things like that. And Sacconis and Elises and, you know, shoes that were not really popular. They were not popping back then. But that's all we could afford was $15 shoes. And I used to get made fun of every time I walked into English class. I felt like um, Black Panther when they'd be like, what are those? What are those? That's a, that was literally my life every time I walked into English class in ninth grade, where people were literally like, what kind of shoes are those? What are those? Da -da -da, you know, just making fun of me. And I remember, you know, telling my parents, like, they keep making fun of my shoes. Everybody's wearing Jordans. They're wearing this. And guess what my parents did? You know, I got African parents, child, Nigerian parents. They didn't give a damn said, Oh, well, school is not a fashion show. That's what they told me. School is not a fashion show. We send you there to learn. We're going to damn what them kids is over there teasing you about. Make sure your grades are on point. So, you know, and, and it builds character. You know what I'm saying? Like, in the real world, you know what I mean? She has to learn to stand up for herself and not care what people think about her. So yeah, it hurt. Yeah, people made fun of me, but after a while they moved the fuck on, okay? That's what kids do. And sometimes you have to, you know what I'm saying, fight that one main bully to get them to shut the hell up. But I understand we live in a different day and age. Everybody can't be out here fighting. And you know, some of these kids can't fight any damn way. So 
Fighting is not always the answer, but I don't think running to go buy her a cup so she can fit in, especially when she initially didn't even want the cup to begin with. What you should have did is reiterated to her that there was nothing wrong with the original cup, okay? That original cup was fire. This Stanley, this pale-ass Stanley cup that you went and got her, eh, whack, it don't do it for me. Y'all know I like my bling and my colors, and you know what I'm saying? That first cup was everything. I would have told her, you know what I'm saying? Nah, you keep rocking your cup. You be different. You go against the grain. If they want to be the damn Stanley sheep, let them be the Stanley sheep. I'm raising you to be an individual. Me, person, that's how I am. I'm not about to just give you something just to make you fit in. That's not how the world works. When my kids were in elementary school, they used to get picked on because they didn't have iPhones. And I just did not believe in buying a third, fourth, fifth grader an iPhone. Hell, my black ass didn't have an iPhone and I was a whole adult with a job. I couldn't afford an iPhone. So I had an Android because the Android was more affordable and my kids had prepaid phones, okay? They didn't have all the fancy shit with the cameras and the recording devices and all that. They had prepaid phones, so when they got home from school, they could call me, let me know they were home, and things like that. And it's like, I mean, it was so many kids in the classroom that had iPhones, and it just didn't make sense to me. Why is a third or a fourth grader walking around with a seven, eight, nine hundred dollar iPhone? If you think it's bad that these kids were getting picked on for not having a Stanley Cup, imagine all the kids who got picked on because their parents could not afford to buy them a seven, eight hundred dollar iPhone. Okay, so this is nothing new. The kids have always picked kids. There's always been the haves and the have-nots. But again, like I said, to me, that's what builds character. You can't sit there and give in to every whim. Because now what are you showing her? That if somebody bullies you, now you need to fit in. Now we need to go spend extra money for you to fit in with these girls who probably don't even like you anyways. And these are not the type of people that you want to really associate with. Because if you're going to judge me based off of what I'm drinking out of, you're a shallow-ass little girl. Okay, I'm not going call you out your name show you some respect because y'all are children but you shallow you know we need to teach children that your value is not in a cup your value is not in what you wear but again how can we teach the children when the adults are just as bad because as quiet as it's kept the babies are learning from us the babies see how we treat each other on social media in the real world when you watch television look how the grown women talk to each other Oh, look at her outfit. Look at her Fendi fit. It's, oh, that's last season. That's not cute. These children are literally miniature caricatures of their parents, of the adults in the world, of what they're seeing. They are basically mirroring to us as children the actions that we've been showing them since they were babies, and now they're perpetuating that. So the way that you break that is not to sit there and buy your child a Stanley Cup to fit in. The way that you break that is to tell her to hold her head up and you go back to class and you keep the mug that I bought you, the one that you picked out, the one that you preferred, and you stand out. That ain't the type of girls that you need to rock with anyways because they're a bunch of followers. That's how I would have handled that. But again, you know what I'm saying? That's just me, honey. So let's go ahead and finish listening to what she got to say. Can we afford to buy her a Stanley? Yes. Did I think that she needed one? No. Apparently I've been proven wrong by the children in our school that are making fun of her for not having a real name brand Stanley. But this doesn't start with the kids. This starts with us. This starts with parents, with moms. What are we teaching our kids? You better believe that if our nine-year-old daughter came home and somehow we found out that she made fun of another girl at school for not having something name brand, whether it's a Stanley, Lululemon, Uggs, I don't care what it is. We would be calling the family. We would be making her write a note to apologize. We would make her apologize in person because that's not what we do in this household. And that's what we need. Girl, bye. It sounds good. I'm not buying that she would do any of that. She would. The fact that you went and bought your child a mug to fit in, you're not doing all that. People be trying to add extra sauce to the chicken, honey, for TikTok and social media. I'm not buying that she would make her daughter write anything. You're so busy trying to get your daughter to fit in with a bunch of bullies and a bunch of people who don't respect her and like her for who she is so i don't believe that she's about to have her daughter write you know dear john letters and write whole dissertations girl bye it sounds good i'm done with her video 
Um, but like I said, she been going viral and everybody, you know, the mom on TikTok and I feel so bad. No, I just don't think she handled it right. That's just my opinion. And I get, you know, people, you don't want your kid to get bullied and picked on. It does not feel good. You know, nobody wants to see their kids cry. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, the world is not a nice place. You know what I'm saying? So what are we teaching kids when it's, oh, well, let me buy you this to help you fit in. My parents were like, we can't afford no Jordan. So you're going to have to take that on the chin. It is what it is. Ignore them. If you have to fight them, fight them. But ignore their asses. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you have to teach people in the real world, you're not always going to get your way. In the real world, everybody's not going to like you. And you can't sit there and try to fit into every social circle trying to, you know, get folks to like you. If they don't like you for who you are and what you do have or what you don't have, if they can't respect that, those are not people that you want to be associated with anyways. So that's how I would have handled that. You know, as far as like the bullying, everybody be talking about bullying like it's something new. You know what I'm saying? We all went through this. It's just that now it's on a bigger scale because a lot of times it's on social media and we see these trends. Like these kids don't even want normal gifts anymore. That's the crazy part. Like you can talk to kids now, especially these Gen Alpha kids. I'm gonna get on y'all in a few more videos. But, and again, who are raising Gen Alpha? Like I've seen TikTok videos of kids' Christmas list. They want $700 items. They want bags. They, they want, you know what I'm saying, uh, two, $300 shoes. His Christmas wish list is an absolute roller coaster. Show me your Christmas gifts. What you want to get for Christmas? Your wish list. I want a bunny. I want a... Um a treadmill, I want a football thing, I want um, a 4,000 4, Gucci um, sweater, I want a house, an iPhone 15, I want Mr. Beast in my basement. How do y'all even know about these brands? Because it's like when I was eight and nine, I was happy with Legos and a Barbie. You know, just regular stuff that costs 10, 15, 20 dollars. These kids really want high end stuff. And again, how do they know about that? Because they're favorite, because they're following grown ass influencers. Now these little girls who are in third grade, they want that good girl perfume that costs literally a hundred dollars plus a bottle. Like these kids don't want kids stuff anymore. They want the stuff that they're seeing grown influencers and grown adults want. Back in the day, we had regular little plastic kid water bottles. We weren't walking around with big ass Stanley cups that look like the size of damn baseballs. You, they're not drinking that much damn water. We had them little plastic things, the little plastic cups, and that was it. And hell, to be honest with you, we really didn't have that. We had drinking fountains. What am I talking about? We had no damn uh, reusable anything. You went to the damn drinking fountain. You drank water. You took a sip and then brought your ass back to the classroom and sat down. So the fact that y'all can even refill water and have water at your desk, that's a damn privilege. We didn't have that. You couldn't even eat and drink in the classroom. You had to sneak. And don't get caught with no gum. You're going to be right now with not chew gum in class 150 times. Why? Because I had to do that shit. So these kids got it damn good that they can be in class with big old Stanley cups and shit. Hell no. Nah, we have to go. We have to get a drink pass and go to the drinking fountain. The, the plastic water bottles, that was my kids' generation. <laughs> Now we getting our generations mixed up, child. We so damn close in age. But yeah, that was them that had the little plastic water bottles they could take to school. We had drinking fountains, okay? The millennials, we had drinking fountains and shit. Gen Z had the little plastic water bottles and this new damn generation got Stanley Cups. So with that being said, y'all, I leave the question up to y'all. How do y'all feel about this situation with the whole Stanley Cup craze? Do y'all feel like any of this nonsense is warranted? How do y'all feel about kids bullying other kids? And do you agree with me that bullying has been around forever? This is nothing new. You know, it's only gone viral because of, you know, who's affected. And how do you feel about the mother? Do you feel like she handled it right by buying her daughter a Stanley Cup to fit in so she doesn't get bullied? Or do you feel like she should have took the approach that I said? Like, nah, you, you stand up for yourself. You, you use your water jug that you picked out that you like and you hold your head high. Those aren't the type of girls you need to deal with. So I want to hear y'all's thoughts down below. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys hit the like button, okay? Make sure y'all still subscribe to the channel, honey. We're trying to get to a million subscribers. Um, and feel free to share the video and I will talk to y'all later. Deuces.
If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So tell your friends and your family. It's the lovely tea TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely tea TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.